and I updates. Mrs. Happy's going to update the committee um, with a couple of the pieces that she's been working on the last couple months, which is some brief informational updates. First, I'd like First, I'd like to talk about the Title I um, preschool. We hired a preschool teacher last week. Um, she started this week, so that's exciting. Um, you should be seeing uh, flyers out in the community. At least 25 flyers were put out last week. Uh, Mother sure was sent out. Mary assisted us with putting that all out flyer to all of the families in the school district. Um, Tomorrow night, um, we will have our first preschool advisory team. Which I've had lots of teachers, um, Mr. Malta, uh, some community members, um, some of our teachers who are doing practicums are going to be involved with that. So that will be tomorrow night from 3.45 to 4.30 in the preschool room. Um, Jean Keezy is our new preschool teacher. And um, she comes with some good background. She did establish a different program, and so she has a really good, strong instructional background, which is our focus. Um, next week on the 23rd, as well as the 28th and the 29th, we're taking uh, screening um, appointments, and we have about 10 so far, so that's good. Um, we've had, I've had some parents contact me via email and um, have been conversing with a variety of people in the community about what kind of kids we're looking for, and um, so it's, it's been a good conversation so far. Our ultimate goal is to um, screen the students looking at pre-reading skills, specifically phonemic awareness, phonics skills, um, and mathematical pre-math skills like number sense, and then to write individual um, learning plans for each of the students that we take into the program so we can track their progress and look at um, how well they're going to be doing. So, also we put in for a Title I aid, but we also be paid through the Title I funds to assist with that program. Um, Mr. Yoke and I are meeting with the bus company tomorrow, and um, our tentative um, start date is November 18th. So, and with the teacher, we hired her for 80%, so as um, maybe parents become aware of it, and they maybe, you know, are just hearing about it, or they're new to the area, we can continue to screen students and uh, we probably won't start with a full load of students right away so we can save some spots for as parents come in with me. Um, then uh, to talk about um, state report cards. I have one question. Sure, yes. sure. I'm um, just wondering what their school day would look like. Like, like you're thinking for hours or one um, Well, we're, right now we're thinking about 9 o'clock so we can let that elementary school be starting strong and then have the buses come in through bus come in or buses come in through the preschool. So about 9 to 11.30 is what we're thinking. All and five days? Yep, yeah, all five days, Monday through Friday. And you don't anticipate hiring the aid until you determine there's the need? Um, right. I mean, we'll hire when the need comes, but as soon as, I mean, we'll probably, I, my hope is to start with no less than 10 students. And um, we wouldn't need an aid because um, students will need to be going to the bathroom and those kinds of things, and there are little bitty ones like that. They're going to need some assistance. Well, less than 10, but what would, what would an ideal match be? Um, I think in between 18 and 20, 21. You know, you want to make strong progress, so you don't want to take too many. But it depends on the needs of the students, I think, you know, versus a fine line. I have a question on this. Um, the bus is going to be discussed this before. Is this kind of covered by the funding also? Yes. And is we have enough capacity to cover it? Right. The bus company had given me a quote probably the end of July okay. as to how much it would cost, and there's more than enough money to title funds to take care of it. Okay, but is this following the original estimate of what it was? What was the original estimate of? The title funds? Yeah, it was a title. Uh, 4K. For the preschool? Yeah. Yes, that was within the month. Uh, it was. It was. Mm -hmm. right. It's working out nicely. The curriculum materials, the assessment materials, all of the materials that we're probably going to need are going to fall within that title funds. So it's really November working out one. nicely. Hmm? November 1. And start date. 18. November 18. 18. 18. Yeah. I think it's on the website. Uh -huh. 
the curriculum. Yes, yeah, so we have a the screen leads in that place. Mm -hmm. so okay. I thought it was going to start till the second semester. Well, we're hoping soon. Okay. I have a question in the, um, the screening process. How do we derive the screening tools? Okay. Who put them together? What are they based on? Um, what are they based on? Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be giving the uh, PALS 4K, which is this, the state tool already. And then um, I looked into different tools that we can use for mathematics. And so we're going to give the early test, early diagnostic math assessment. And then we're also going to give the dial. Uh, four, which currently we give the data free to incoming kindergarten students. Okay. And you know I'm getting out of this one here. We made a very strong statement that we're not looking at a uh, supplementing uh, lower age on the students, we're looking at students and students. Right, right. So it's required by the grant. Uh, okay. It's required by the grant that we take all of the students and from the screening we have to prioritize them. So they came in for an audit, we have to show who is this, the biggest student at need and number them right in order. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And, and then if we screen another one, we have to add them in and see where they fit. And actually when you have it, you say this is 20 students on top of the list, other ones off the position. Right. Okay. The nice thing about the assessments that she chose, they're all normally the same based types of assessments. Okay. So there isn't a lot of uh, I don't know, wiggle room or fluctuation are, right. in there for the, the, the concern that you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I know what you were looking for over the long term, so I want to make sure that those... Yeah, because I'm looking at every project, no matter what you make, no matter what you're doing in life. Exactly. That right. your student that's in a 4K has access to the program. Right. Just like any other, like trail site is Title II, it doesn't mean that only those students get service, it's just the funding right. for, this, for how we get the money. Okay, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. 